Hey everyone, hope you guys are enjoying Monster Hunter in whichever fashion you're choosing to play it as. And today we're going to have a little bit of a discussion topic regarding what Capcom is trying to do as they are uh, kind of like changing their business model a little bit regarding just how they are looking to approach uh, profits and, and game sales as a whole. This is a company kind of like uh, reshift to some degree and the way that they're going to handle business and some of their expectations and even markets that they are choosing to address heading into the future to expand their profits. And that kind of made me think of just what the implications of that are going to be specifically into the Monster Hunter franchise and what we can potentially see maybe even the early steps of their implementation for their plans regarding the next mainline game. I want to first and foremost give a huge shout out to Takashi Mochizuki, uh, who has done amazing journalist work. Uh, if you guys know of him in social media or Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, uh, you would know that he has been pretty much on top of many major information regarding all sorts of platforms, whether it is uh, Nintendo's next mainline console, whether it is PlayStation 5's sales and the implications of some of their shifts to the Western market. Uh, and now specifically, he put out an article on Bloomberg, link in the description below, um, where they talk about Capcom's CEO uh, basically talking specifically about their latest changes in like direction for the company as a whole and how they are going to be targeting specifically the Indian and Chinese market um, instead of focusing from free to play game, but shifting their focus to PC and console games to smartphones which is so I'm, I'm not necessarily sure how to even word that properly it's just so disheartening to say the least and i certainly think it's going to be impacting of course not just monster hunter but of course resident evil and every other major franchise they have and the article titled Capcom sees its sales in India passing those in China in a decade. They mentioned that uh, video game studio Capcom's uh, may sell more copies of games in India than in China within the decade as the publisher behind the Resident Evil franchise looks to new markets for long term growth, according to the chief operator officer Haruhiro Sugimoto. Key to the Osaka based company strategy are securing local tie ups to lift the profile and sales of its PC games in emerging markets and in expanding its offerings to console quality titles to smartphones. The 58 year old exclusive said in an interview, India is focus area, he said. Remember, if you have been paying attention, and this is something that we just saw at Tokyo Game Show, a lot of their most latest Resident Evil games, I believe, seven, eight, and even Resident Evil 4 Remake, I just got put on like Apple devices or something like that, like Apple phones you can play them now in. I believe even like Digital Foundry was talking about the fact that you can buy like uh, Resident Evil Village for like $60 on a smartphone now because it's actually a fully playable game with like normal controls, but you could also play it in like mobile controls. But it's not a free to play traditional like phone game or anything like that, not even like Monster Hunter now, but you can actually play it like a normal traditional game. You can actually dock it and like connect it directly to a TV and it upscales to 4K and all of that 60 FPS uh, through the latest iPhone 15 Pro or something like that. So it is basically playing like some sort of like boosted Nintendo Switch version of that game. And it's running it natively on the phone itself. And they're actually charging you like it's a tr console traditional experience. So they're already putting these uh, um, ideas into motion. And it's interesting to see where they're going to go. Uh, the market in India will grow exponentially in five to ten years, he says. As college students who enjoy game will grow older and the economy develops, Sujimoto said. India's population has already surpassed China's. Taking that into consideration, we can expect to do better than in China. The studio which houses hit franchises such as Street Fighter and Monster Hunter is seeking partnerships to market its titles in India and Southeast Asia. Local device makers and influencers may help Capcom expand further into high margin digital downloads, which now earn 90% of total units based video game sales at the company, Sujimoto said. I think that's extremely important to pay attention to. And this is no different than Sony. This is no different than Xbox or Microsoft or even Nintendo starting to shift a little bit more. Digital sales are now king. Everyone knows that 
physical is going away it's just a way of the future i myself love physical games but it doesn't really matter what i like it's pretty much what these companies want to sell you and they're trying to sell you a digital code or a digital voucher so you can actually download the game and pseudo own it or at the very least have access until them you know system basically dies out and you can no longer download anything so that's pretty much the way of the future and these companies are ready to embrace it hog wild uh, in the article, they also mentioned that Capcom's presence in India is still tiny. A little more than 100,000 uh, video game copies a year, in part due to the low profile of mobile games and limited sales efforts. Smartphones are their main device, which may, with many young Indian access to the internet, making a wide-ranging portfolio for mobile games essential for Capcoms to expand in the country. The Japanese company targets annual sales in India as many as 2 million copies within the next decade to match even surpassing the operations in China, the executive said. So remember, they're trying to go from 100,000, which they have done pretty much lifetime, to what they are trying to do north of 2 million within the next basically 10 years, which is massive, you know. Uh, that's a pretty hefty growth that they want. And all of this is digital, of course, like I said before. But in order to do that, they have to focus, like the article mentions, into mobile devices and PC. Consoles, even that, is not something that these markets specifically focus on, like we may hear in the West or in North America or even Europe, or even some players, of course, down in Japan or even China, for that matter. India's overall video game market is seeing reaching a US 1.6 billion in 2027, almost double the expected sales in 2023, according to Asian-focused gaming research firm Nico Partners. The company's weak presence in free-to-play games is widely seen as a handicap, as mobile games comprise for about half of the global video games market, according to NewsU data. But instead of creating such games on its own, Capcom plans to license content to others. This is very important. This year, it enlisted Pokemon's Go Creator Niantic to develop mobile games Monster Hunter Now to release, uh, which released earlier this month. And that's where we get to the crux of it. The, if you don't necessarily like the mobile experience, that really you're not the target market at the end of the day. But Capcom is fully aware of that. They don't want to actually take on the effort to making those games themselves. Therefore, they get other studios to be able to do it, other companies to be able to do it. And Niantic, of course, uh, being a powerhouse when it came to uh, Pokemon Go, Capcom saw that and they said, basically, take Monster Hunter and see if you can reach the heights that Pokemon Go did. Now, of course, it hasn't and it won't ever be you know, not even remotely close. We've talked about that in other Monster Hunter Now videos, especially when I'm talking about leaks. But it is important to see that Capcom is already using those trends. They're focusing on mobile games. We already know that their uh, Monster Hunter experience is going to be mostly focused to PC players or shifting to make sure that it's available day one on PC. And this is something that is probably going to change the way the game as a whole is going to feel. Lastly, in the article, they mentioned traditional free-to-play smartphone games are not a good fit with Capcom's brand, Sujimoto said. Instead, the studio will focus on releasing console titles for download on devices, he said. Again, we just spoke about the Apple thing. That's exactly what they're already doing. Capcom said earlier this month that it will release Resident Evil games as playable on Apple devices, inks, iPhones, and iPads. High quality games should become more playable on a wider range of smartphones in the next few years and will give us an opportunity to reach gamers who don't have consoles and PCs, Sujimoto said. Capcom targets selling more than 100 million copies of games a year, with the majority to come from sales released in past fiscal years. And while games markets traditionally waited for console markets and other platform operators to forge new markets, Sujimoto said that it's up to Capcom to create its own demand. Finding us, finding and cultivating new markets and our, is our own responsibility, and we'll keep doing so aggressively, he said. And that's the key word right there, aggressively. Therefore, more games that are going to be releasing on PC, maybe even console, are eventually going to make their way into mobile devices. The free-to-play games that they are going to put out, which may not necessarily be their main focus, are not going to be created in-house. So you shouldn't expect them to have the same experiences or be more traditional than what you already have seen. They're going to be done in traditional mobile market fashion because they're going to be made by mobile game developers, which, of course, they're going to be collaborating with. And at the end of the day, this is going to change the way the franchise is played, the way that we perceive it. 
this is some of the criticisms that we already have seen Levy to like Monster Hunter Now, for example, where it feels hollow. It doesn't feel like a traditional Monster Hunter game. It feels just like a cheap cop out. It feels like like a plague, if you will. I've seen some of those criticisms being levied. And while they may be harsh in their very own way, that is exactly what Capcom is after. They're not using the same argument that Nintendo did. Which, remember, when Nintendo started to put out mobile games a few years back, their argument was, we're going to put out, like, Mario Run or whatever, because that game will get people to notice Mario on mobile games, and then eventually trickle their way into the Switch and buy Super Mario Bros. Wonder or buy, you know, Odyssey or whatever the situation is. And they'll play a Switch and be like, oh, this is a much better game, I'm just going to buy more Switch games. But of course that didn't happen you know the games weren't necessarily all that popular some of them were good but not great you know and ultimately nintendo just kind of stepped away from mobile games entirely we haven't seen them put out a, a recent one you know in quite a while so capcom is realizing that they don't want to make that same mistake they want to get publishers who make already mobile games to do that work for them and at the end of the day they get to focus on bringing their quote-unquote traditional experiences to mobile devices and PC and try to target everything as a whole, which, you know, it is a different strategy, but it does make me wonder what does that ultimately do for the way the game is traditionally played? Do they make things easier? Do they make them more quote unquote user friendly? Do they make them, um, you know, you just water down experiences, which again, some of the criticisms you see levied to Masa and now. It's going to have to be one of those things that we're going to have to wait and see what they try to do. But um, we are starting to see the seeds of this already happening just in Tokyo Game Show a few months back. Uh, but that's about all the information that I have for you guys today. Again, link in the description below for uh, Takahashi Mochizuki's recent article regarding their interview with Capcom's uh, COO Haruhiro Sujimoto as he spoke about what it is that Capcom is trying to accomplish in sales in the future but if you're brand new to my channel be sure to leave a like and subscribe hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up and as always thank you so much for watching see ya